Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will show you how to use breakout view and broken view on CATIA V5 drawing. So, before opening drafting workbench, open a model, file open, the model wherever you have saved, you just open that, I will open some simple part go to drafting start mechanical design drafting empty sheet ok now generate front view by selecting front view option select window select that part select on face or on plane you can tilt whatever the position you want and select on the surface and then projection view I want to generate side view of this part this is the projection view I change sheet size right click properties A3 now here two options broken view break out view so what is the difference between broken view and break out view that I will show you in this video so first we get into broken view on any part say suppose on this part it has a shaft of much length I select on this surface or I select this surface I go to sketch I create one circle exit and I add some 500 mm height then see it has a shaft of lengthy shaft then in this case when you get into drafting when you go for update you can see a lengthy shaft and the, the shaft the view has gone out due to this length of the shaft it is not inside the drawing sheet so instead of increasing the drawing sheet for this purpose if you want to adjust in this sheet only then you have to cut this view for that we go for broken view so if you increase the size of the sheet suppose only for this length of the shaft if you go for a A0 sheet then you are drawing the main view the front view will be very smaller this is the actual view what we require ok no need to maintain the entire length for this shaft we can cut see for that go for broken view and select a point inside the shop so that you can see this green line it may be horizontal or it may be vertical you can cut in either ways 
I click another point so it is fixed one line is fixed at that position and I want to cut up to I'm just moving the mouse up to here another point then the space between these two horizontal lines will be trimmed just select on the sheet see now it is a set inside the sheet whatever the element which is projected outside the sheet will not get print if you take a print the sheet the the view which is outside the sheet you can't see for that you have to set inside the sheet in this view also i apply broken view see i go for broken view i select a point see before applying this broken view you need to make the view active right now this view is in active now to make this active just double click on that now go for broken view select a point horizontal line another horizontal line and select on the screen that is trim okay this indicates that this is a broken line the shaft is broken but the dimension shows the same we have given 500 mm length when you apply the dimension from this edge to the height of the shop shows the same thing 500 mm whatever the portion you cut shows the same length in this way we use a broken view if the length of any object is more lengthy to trim that length in order to set inside the sheet we use a broken view then the next option is a breakout view i just go back control z or else i go to part and i this i delete this one update delete this or else i just delete all the views for the next option see i delete this i again generate a front view of that part now side view then what is this breakout view we use this breakout view to cut some portion on any view say suppose half section view like half section view i want to cut only half of this part i want to view up to some depth then we go for a breakout view useful option when we see machine drawing textbook or a production drawing you can able to see so many half section views means removing some portion like quarter portion half portion and viewing that part say suppose if the part is symmetric like plumber block some couplings flanged couplings you can able to see on machine drawing textbook half section will be removed and the other side will be as it is to get to generate such kind of views we use a breakout view i'll show you so that you will come to know you have to make a closed boundary see i want to cut the left side portion first point second point 
when you close this boundary then this represents the depth see i want to cut this portion how much depth say suppose we have given some uh, 40 mm depth i want to see up to 20 mm then you have to move this plane up to 20 mm say just move this line keep that at the middle see i will turn and i'll show you see the plane is at the middle then go for okay then up to that depth a material has been removed now you can see the hatching portion hatching portion represents solid for clear understanding i will show you on part on 3d model what i did not what i did uh, what what does this uh, breakout view uh, does mean see i select front view and i get, get into sketcher now if you create a profile like this see half profile see on the surface half profile how much is this thickness 40 mm i cut up to 20 mm okay fine 20 is here then go no this is nothing but a, see breakout view by viewing the front view only this side will be hatching i change color so that you will come to know properties see whatever the color is showing in blue represent hatching portion so this what it does the breakout view nothing but this one i delete and we go to drawing again i go back cut set or i generate a new view saved automatically so i again go to front view or projected i have projected from this view double click now i want to cut only quarter portion then up to here up to here depth as these slots this uh, uh, slot and this uh, hole this hole and this cut uh, throughout these three are throughout so that whatever the depth you keep you will get the same output for this view see then for this view also you can apply see what i do is to apply a breakout view for this view double click on that now side view is showing a simple rectangle a plane surface when you apply breakout view for this see half portion when you close that now we'll get depth see in this direction depth see viewing from this side because here fillet line is there so not this view this view you won't see this fillet line you are viewing from this view up to which depth so i keep this plane at the middle so that you can see this circle the back back side of this hole and this surface also without hatching now see okay then you can see this is nothing but hole this is a rectangular slot above and this is hatching portion the same thing i'll show you in 3d model so that you can clearly understand so select this surface getting into sketcher by selecting that surface this is a fillet edge 
what I did on drafting is just I generated this profile and cut pocket I don't know what is the length of this part I just randomly I increase and I keep somewhere in the middle then I go for ok then I change color for this pocket then you will come to know see here when you view from this side see this is whole space and this is this slot space and the blue whatever the color visible in blue nothing but solid hatching the plane is touching the surface that is why it is shown by hatching so this is nothing but a breakout a view I delete this update so like this this is a usage of a broken view for a lengthy objects to minimize uh, to utilize the uh, drawing sheet space we use a broken view for cut lengthy objects then breakout view to see some portion inner side of a part some portion not the entire cut uh, some quarter portion half portion we use breakout view so thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cat system